All right, let's get right into it. We'll begin by taking a look around. At the top is the search bar, the input box, the result box, the unabridged left and right unit descriptions, and the category button to switch between category and unit views. The wheels are populated with the abbreviated unit descriptions. Now let's take a look at the toolbar. The first icon swaps the left and right units. The filter icon is used to show the most commonly used units. The back and forward arrows are similar to internet browsers, taking us to the last used set of units and the next set of units. The bookmark icon taking us directly to our favorites, the add to the bookmarks icon, the copy and paste icons, and finally the two icons to change to the about screen and the option screen. Okay, let's use these features. First we'll go from the acceleration category to currency. Click the category button. The list of categories appear. Now select currency and click the category button again. Let's say we'd like to convert 68 feet 11 inches to inches. We'll use the search bar rather than the wheels to navigate. Click search and start typing. F O O. The results appear with the search phrase highlighted. Click foot from the results. In the input box, enter 68 feet 11 inches. Notice the equivalent inches appear below with the converted result to the right. Okay, this is good stuff. Now to the toolbar. We'll swap the units. The inches now show on the left and feet on the right. That's simple enough. Now watch the wheels carefully as we press the filter icon to show only the commonly used units and categories. Many of the units have disappeared leaving the common ones behind. The same is true with the categories. There are now far less categories to view in that wheel. The back and forward buttons should be straightforward. Click back to go to the previous unit selected and forward to return. Now this brings us to the bookmarks. Let's add the current units to our bookmarks. Now let's go look at them. As we see, the units now appear in our bookmarks. Removing bookmarks is just as simple. One click and they are gone. Now let's copy the result and paste it into the input box. The result copied is stored to the global iPhone copy buffer and can be used in other apps as well. Now before we begin looking at the options available, we'd like to demonstrate another feature. We call this inline calculations. We will demonstrate this for you. Say you want to add two lengths together and subtract a third. We would enter 14 plus 27 minus 3. The calculated result shows below and the converted result appears to the right. From the options screen, we can change the number of significant digits appearing after the decimal point. And from the about screen, we can learn some useful tips and send messages to the developers. But keep in mind, the messages sent here do not appear as a review at the App Store, so you need to do that from the App Store. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. We hope you enjoy your inexpensive but very functional unit converter for the iPhone.